Hey there, Truth Seeker. Welcome to our channel and community where we focus on developing the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom to expand your conscious awareness. This is Season 2, Episode 16. For those returning, welcome back and a massive hello to our new subscribers and listeners. We appreciate you. Part 1 Introduction My name is David Kerrison. I'm a 13 sign astrologer, EDM DJ, an indigo warrior. Feel free to check out our playlist linked below. My partner, Sana, and I will both narrate this fascinating reading. For disclosure, we subscribe to the Astro app platform. To help align with your divine design, we encourage you to acquire a personalized 13 sign natal chart. To do so, click the link in the description. We look forward to hearing from you. Before we go further, what can you expect from today's reading and what is our channel about? The beginning of wisdom is to know thyself. To contribute to this, we explore and interpret the 13 sign astrology system that includes the constellation of Ophiuchus. Look up at the night sky. The southern part of Ophiuchus is found between Scorpius to the west and Sagittarius to the east. Her motifs are the snake bearer and the golden eagle. Ophiuchus is situated opposite Orion, which represents the institutions and structures we master to escape the matrix. Ophiuchus symbolizes the restoration of powerful feminine energies subjugated and suppressed via Saturnian systems. Ophiuchus' emergent power will, over time, reconfigure the cognitive map of paternalism and patriarchy. This reading covers the Leo new moon occurring August 16, 2023 at 9.38pm New Zealand Standard Time where we are located. For those in the United States, this equates to 5.38am Eastern Daylight Time the same day. Our discussion will spotlight the Sun-Moon conjunction with Venus, the square to Uranus in Aries, and the trine to Chiron in Pisces. Part 2. Emancipation and Emergence From the get-go, this is a high vibration, exciting and liberating new moon. The energies are overwhelmingly positive, upbeat, buoyant and optimistic. August 16, 2023 marks the beginning of a brand new cycle and the end of a long, winding road for weary soul travellers. The number 16 contains powerful, dramatic, life-changing energies. In the ancient tarot, we refer to the Tower, an evocative, stimulating icon that dates to the 15th century. In the image, we see an edifice perched on a hill, an odd place for an architectural design of this magnitude. After all, towers are typically associated with strength, security and self-preservation. The building is a metaphor describing lofty ambitions and goals built on deception, false promises and lies. We refer here to blind faith in politics, economics, social structures and technologies. Some texts say this is the Tower of Babel with connections to Marduk, a structure erected by the ancient Babylonians with its top ascending the heavens. We see lightning strike, tossing two figures from their sanctuary. It is not known what became of these individuals. Lightning is the vector of liberation, realization and revelation, shaking loose self-imposed ideologies trapped emotions and latent soul memories, bringing them to light. For some, this will be a rude awakening, a shocking confrontation with beliefs, concepts and ideas that have no place in the age of awakening. Yet for listeners of this channel, Source Consciousness has arranged this moment, this time, for you. A line in the sand is drawn. It is time for your deep creative genius to emerge. It is time for emancipation. You will be supported, aided and assisted by the benevolent frequency of Venus 
and the embracing power of Leo. Thank you, David. Part three, freedom, finally. Breathe a sigh of relief. Let loose a primal scream. Dance with delight and smile with the stars. These are some of the many expressions of a new moon in Leo conjunct Venus. Of all the combinations in the zodiac, this is the pinnacle of laughter and joy. The square to Uranus ignites change and freedom. Yet, freedom from what? For that, we look to Chiron, whose story is well documented. Abandoned as a child, Chiron developed into a wise, integrative health practitioner. He was also proficient in prophecy and music. He was a master of medicine. His skills knew no bounds, yet caught in a fierce battle, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Chiron was struck by a poison arrow for which no remedy could be found. This is how he became known as the Wounded Healer. As divine souls entering the earth plane, we forget our divinity, our connection to source, and for many, we feel abandoned from the essence of life. Chiron represents the process of recognizing that we are eternal beings having a temporary human experience. While it may feel this way, we have not been abandoned. Chiron made the best of his situation. He learned valuable lessons and expanded his horizons by leaving his comfort zone. His reputation preceded him and many sought his counsel. Chiron transcended abandonment by embracing his creative potential. Chiron was a shaman, an alchemist, who played with the elements of life. The insight of his legend is that he kept evolving. At this new moon, self-doubts and stories may surface. If they do, now is the time to confront those devilish voices. It is time to see through fear and fantasy. Chiron could have played victim. Instead, through positive action, he overcame the traumatic stress of separation from his mother. He resolved to use that experience to help others be free of disease and delusions. Part 4. Summary As we conclude, let us reflect. The 13th sign astrological system contains puzzle pieces that help us interpret individual and collective experiences. 13th sign astrology is ancient wisdom, kept secret to all but the insiders who have used it for themselves. These insights, applied to your life, can have profound impacts on how you perceive and interpret your reason for being. For those of us contemplating and considering what creative contribution we can make as the third density collapses, now is the moment to go inwards in mindfulness and meditation to clarify your ideas. We know we are swimming against the tide of popular astrological opinion. However, this is how we develop character, strength and resilience. A new moon by nature integrates two forces, the union of opposites. The feminine moon and the masculine sun synthesize. There is harmony and balance. The intellect and the emotions merge, removing all distortions. The alignment of Venus, Uranus and Chiron with the new moon in perfect synchronicity combines our mind, our heart, our trapped emotions and our soul memories. Weaving these different aspects of self into one whole expression of source. Everything is lined up to be free of limitations, to be propelled, to reconnect with your lost inner child, to tap your unquenchable spirit. Thank you for listening. We look forward to your comments. To support our work, you can donate or make a small contribution via the Buy Us A Coffee link below. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe. You may also join us on Telegram or Facebook at David Carrington. Namaste. This has been a production of Star Kittens Media. All rights are reserved.